Hi and welcome to Strength Universe. In this video we will be looking at the history, the official and unofficial records of the 18 inch partial or silver dollar deadlift. The silver dollar deadlift originated sometime in the 1800s and was one of many feats of strength performed by strongmen at circuses and roadshows. A strongman would take two barrels filled with silver dollars and connected by a bar. They would deadlift the weight in front of a crowd before inviting spectators to give it a try. If the spectator was successful in lifting the weight, they would be rewarded with a silver dollars. The first record I can find of the silver dollar deadlift being used in international competition was at the 1980 World Strongest Man final, where Bill Kazmaier set an initial world record of 437 kilograms or 956 pounds and would go on to take the first of three consecutive World's Strongest Man titles. We now will need to encourage Larry to lift this next weight as we see the silver dollars going in and $17,000 or 956 pounds to lift. So strong, so strong. Out of Really, it's so easy, isn't it? Bill Kazmaier wins again. The silver dollar deadlift made its return for the 1981 World's Strongest Man, but on this occasion no world record was required for Bill Kazmaier to take the win. The event returned again for the 1982 World's Strongest Man final, but on this occasion Bill Kazmaier had to share the record with Ernie Hackett, who both managed to lift 1,055 pounds or 478 kilograms. Tony was about two months behind him. The Tasmire gets ready. At that level, 1,000 pounds. Knockout the knees, not quite so convincingly, but we made it. The 1983 World's Strongest Man finals would be the last time that we would see the silver dollar deadlift for several years. It was also the first appearance of the legendary John Paul Sigmundson, who pushed Tom McGee all the way by lifting 525 kilograms or 1,157 pounds. This left Tom with no choice but to take on a heavier final lift. Tom duly lifted 535 kilograms or 1,180 pounds, setting a new world record that would stand for over three decades. The heaviest total ever attempted under these rules in world competition, 1,180 pounds. And he's done it. We've witnessed history being made here. Success for Tom McGee in one of the hardest and most unforgiving events anyone here can remember. The silver dollar deadlift remained absent from the world stage until it made its return in the 1991 World Strongest Man final, which saw the winner, Magnus for Magnussen, lift 420 kilograms. The event then returned six years later for the 1997 World Strongest Man final, which saw Yuko Alaha take the win with a final lift of 435 kilograms. An impressive lift, but still some way off from the world record that had now been set 14 years earlier. Over the next two decades, the event was featured in many regional and national strongman competitions, but Tom McGee's record remained unchallenged. In 2017, shortly after winning the World's Strongest Man, Eddie Hall participated in a marketing stunt for the launch of his new book, Strongman, and unofficially set a new world record in the silver dollar deadlift by lifting an unverified 536 kilograms or 1,182 pounds. Most strongman federations classify the 18 inch and silver dollar deadlift as the same discipline. And on this basis, Anthony Purness officially broke Tom McGee's 1983 world record on the 19th of October, 2019 with a lift of 539.7 kilograms or 1,190 pounds. On the 
7th of May 2020, Britain's strongest man, Adam Bishop, set an unofficial world record with a lift of 545 kilograms or 1,201 pounds. Although this was an unofficial record, it appears that Adam has a lot more in the tank and it would be great to see him set a world record in the future. Anthony Pernis returned to the Strongman Farm Record Breaker event to break the record he set a year earlier. This time on the Silver Dollar Deadlift, he set a new official world record of 550 kilograms or 1,212 pounds on a Texas power bar with calibrated plates. Although I am including Alexei Novikov's 18-inch deadlift from the 2020 World's Strongest Man, I don't believe it has a legitimate right to be classified as an official world record. But, as it is the heaviest deadlift in the history of the World's Strongest Man, it can be classified as a record for that particular competition. In the future, to make the 18-inch or silver dollar deadlift into more respected, legitimate records, I believe they need to be considered as completely different disciplines, with standardised rules surrounding the length, diameter and flex of the bar, and distance from the centre point of the weights. If you enjoyed this video, please support my channel by hitting like and subscribing, and please leave a comment below letting me know what you think about the silver dollar deadlift. Thank you.